Edited by joelfan.com Billy Joel completely retold. Welcome to Billy Joel completely retold, the podcast that takes a behind the scenes look at the albums of Billy Joel, where you'll hear the stories behind the songs from Billy himself. Now, this being the 30th anniversary of his breakthrough album, The Stranger, I thought that'd be a good place as any to start. Now, The Stranger was a very eclectic album, with each song being so different from the song before it. It makes you wonder, would it be as successful today with the music industry as it is with its formula for going after a specific age or a specific audience? Also makes you wonder, what would the album sound like if it was recorded, produced, and released in today's day and age? Well. Here's a little example of what it might sound like. Thank you.
an advertisement. The piano man comes to town. It's like they might be sitting there going, oh, he's still living off that song. You know what I mean? And it's that's only one song that I wrote. Just because it, it was the hit, a lot of people think that represents what I write. I sing. I play the harmonica. And um, I kid around. Good jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of loosen it up. I don't. It, it, a lot of time in the old records, the piano always seemed to have been brought out in the front, and I don't necessarily I agree with that. That the piano always had to be the lead instrument, but because I was thought of as the piano man, um, there was much more piano in the older records. And this record, there's a lot of guitar, a lot more guitar than in any of the other albums. And I like good strong guitar, I like rock and roll. We've been rock and rolling for six years. Um, it's a rock and roll band and this album brings that out. Now let's talk a little bit about the title track from the album, The Stranger. That was one of those songs that was written in about 10 minutes, which usually, the songs that, that you write the fastest are usually the better songs, because it's like some kind of divine thing hit you and you almost had nothing to do with writing a song. It just kind of comes off the end of your pencil. Or Born home, huh? Yeah. yeah. It just kind of zooms out, and you don't know really where it came from. You're almost like the instrument. Like, the song was always there floating around, and it just came through you. Um, I have this little instrument called a rhythm ace, which is one of these little machines that makes drum note sounds. And you can press a button and get... And... Um, I was just playing with the thing, and all of a sudden, I just heard this kind of beat. And I said, hey, that'd be nice.